All right, guys, here we are in my office. Um, I don't know if I can find 10 things in this little organizer, but I'm betting that I can. Um, just a disclaimer before I get started, guys. I have had some super nasty comments left on my channel about how I'm a hoarder and I need help and I have a mental illness. And, you know, I... It just really gets on my nerves because I'm showing you guys in these videos the most cluttered parts of my house. Like, if you look in the rest of my house, there's not clutter, okay? Um, so I am showing you the most cluttered parts of my house on purpose because I'm trying to declutter the cluttered parts of my house. It's not like there's zero walking space in my house. It's not like, you know, I can't walk down the hallway. I'm showing you guys the nastiest, cramped fullest -nest. I know that's not a word. <laughs> I'm showing you the parts of my house that are crammed full of stuff because those are the areas that need decluttered. So uh, anyway, this little thing is pretty full and I have had this for years and years and years and it's just full of like extra office supplies and I don't know if there's 10 things in here but I bet I can maybe find close to 10 pieces of just, you know, junk or things I don't need if I really try. I mean, I know I could obviously throw away 10 pins, but I think that's kind of cheating because um, they're not very large or anything. So let's just go through. All right, so I'm just gonna go shelf by shelf and I'm just gonna start by taking everything out and then going from there. Okay, these are little decorations for like bulletins boards. I don't really need those. If anything, I could bring them to school, but they definitely don't need to be in my house. All right, same thing goes with these. These are those little sticky notes from Target that don't even stick. They're super cute, um, but they do not stick. Same thing with these. These are also from the dollar store at Target. They're adorable, but they don't stick. All right, staples I need to keep. Binder clips, I always need. Binder clips are like gold in the teaching world. Um, here are some more of the uh, Target dollar spot ones. Just a warning, if you buy those at Target's dollar spot, they're super cute, but they do not stick. Oh, look, another one. Okay, here are some University of Arkansas sticky notes. Super cute, but I don't really need them. I don't know. This thing right here is literally almost gone, so that can go. These are just labels that I will probably eventually use. Um, tabs are always good. I don't know that I'll ever use these. They're stick-on index tabs, possibly. Um, here are some more little tabbies. Same thing, more tabs, more binder clips, more tabs. This is a little hospital, uh, gimme thing for sticky notes and so on. Um, I'm actually studying out of a big old book right now, so I might use that or bring that into the kitchen, and then if not, I can throw it away. Um, this is by Avery, I think, and I've had this for a while. It's like a stick-on label, so it's kind of like a sticky note, but the whole thing is sticky, so I will keep those. Um, and pens, of course, you can always use. So there's the first drawer. I was able to get rid of quite a bit out of that one, so I bet we can make it to 10 if we keep trying. I believe in myself. Here we go. First of all, we got a box of staples, and the staples are out of it. And that's really all that is left. So let me grab the other box and condense that real quick. All right, these are two little address books that I'm actually going to hang on to. Um, let's see. I've got a glue stick. I wonder if this is dried up. Doesn't seem dried up. Oh, look, some more of those post-it notes. <laughs> uh, random pin. Lanyards always come in handy for spare keys and such. So we will hang on to those if you have a, you know, house key you need to give someone. Um, these are two bookmarks. I'll save those. Um, one of my students actually made those, so I'm not going to get rid of them. Um, here are just some cap erasers. I don't know when I'll use those. Those can go to school because they'll definitely get used at school. Um, handheld pencil sharpener. Again, there's that. There's that. I am not going to use these. They can go to school and go in like the little reward thing. They have not been opened. Okay, this is my little drawer of extra pens, highlighters, pencils, and such. Again, what is this? Um, I'm sure there's lots of things that I can get rid of out of this. 
these included. Those can go. Um, but I don't have the time tonight to go through and actually sort through them. Those erasers can go to school as a prize. Those can go. Um, I don't really have the time to sort through them and make sure they're all good. I'm sure they probably are. Um, the pencils and things I could probably bring to school, but again, that's another time. Um, I'm not taking the time to just sort, sort, sort through. Um, I'm just kind of doing, again, a surface declutter. So uh, there we go. All right, guys, so here are the items that I am getting rid of for today. This is actually 19 items. Um, some of them are going to be going to school for the little treasure chest. Um, even these post-it notes, even though they don't stick wonderfully, I think the kids at school would probably still like them to write little notes and things on. So those will probably go to school because they're kind of stationary related. Um, so most of this I'm not really going to put in the trash because, like I said, I can take them to school and put them in the little reward uh, bin. The only two the only two things that are really going in the trash are these two stacks of post-it notes right there because they are almost empty anyway um, everything else is very gently used so those can go in a baggie to go to school um, so either way guys super super quick less than 10 minutes and I am getting 19 items out of my house so let me know what you got rid of today and I'll see you next time bye